Hi, Cornelia. Good to see you. How are you today? Hi, Isaiah. Thank you. Thank you for your time. I'm happy yeah. to be here. Well, no, thank you. And congratulations on your transition. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe uh, we could just start by having you introduce yourself and the position and company uh, you transitioned into, please. Yes, I am an um, application scientist on uh, global uh, technical support at Miltani Biotech. I'm, uh, I transitioned two months and a half ago. Well, congratulations. Great company and uh, very excited for you. Great role, too. It was actually my first role in industry and really excited to hear about your transition. So you're successful now. You've made it. We have a lot of PhDs watching, though, who have not transitioned yet. They're still, they're still in the struggles of transitioning. So I was hoping we could go back in time a little bit. Talk about the challenges that you faced in your job search. You know, when, when things were most difficult, what were those challenges, both in terms of maybe mindset, right? Dealing with rejection, not knowing where to start, but also the technical challenges of a job search, maybe resume LinkedIn. What were your challenges? Yes, I uh, start following um, the Cheeky Scientists Association on 2017 uh, while I was in academia for a postdoctoral position. And um, in uh, 2019, I knew that my visa will expire soon and I need to apply for a green card. And I used this uh, opportunity to work uh, to with Brian Get Getson. And uh, I uh, in 2020, I got my green card. And then just uh, um, finishing uh, my um, project in academia, I said it's time to move on. Then um, time um, flies, and then I just realized in November that uh, uh, one of my friends called me and say, oh, I have a um, position for you if you are interested because a recruiter contacted me and uh, if you know someone or you can apply for your own. I um, <laughs> I uh, uh, quickly updated my resume and uh, uh, my LinkedIn profile, but uh, because that position was just through a recruiter, I was not ready. And even I, I um, passed the first interview. I said I it's I need to prepare myself. And then I start to <laughs> walk through the uh, cheeky scientist modules and uh, update again my LinkedIn profile and the resume. And um, uh, my goal on the paper and for my family was to transition by September 2021. And then I said, I have one year, let's say it's happened in November, but I, I this goal was um, uh, taking consideration in September last year. And I was bored in the academia and I just said, I want uh, to do myself for, uh, to do something for myself. <laughs> And then um, I, uh, after November, I said I need to take this in consideration more serious. And uh, it, it happened that a maintenance service was uh, scheduled for our instrument uh, in the facility that I was uh, coordinating. <laughs> I was the manager. And then the guys that came, um, uh, they, it, it came three guys and just say, oh, we are just uh, training a new people because we are expanding our team. And that was the click that uh, uh, had um, an impact in my life. This happened on December 17, and then December 28, I said, like a new real New Year resolution, I need to do something. <laughs> and I apply for a global technical uh, support position. I um, they had another position for a local technical support, and based on the description, uh, I said I want to um, apply for the. Global global support, even was more challenging for me. <laughs> yeah. And here I am um, on, the on the January 5th, I had the interviews and, um, and um, March 1st, I got, I was there. Yeah. Wow, congratulations. Uh, yeah, an amazing story. And it's amazing that you went for the, the position, I think that was even more challenging and you got hired. Um, and I think that, you know, like a lot of PhDs, sometimes we don't know where to start, but if you start, you can make adjustments along the way. I think that's a good lesson from what you just said. Was there anything in the association, thinking back, 
that gave you kind of an early aha moment or anything in particular that you'd like to say about how the group helped you? I definitely um, was, in, I was encouraged, I was encouraged by the um, association a lot because uh, this uh, um, made me realize that um, I am valuable and I even I don't speak English very well, what I know and what I can do with the knowledge makes uh, <laughs> a big difference. And I want to um, encourage others as well to um, be confident and uh, try to um, reach high because it's worth it. Uh, I, I love that message and thank you for sharing. Uh, now, did you have any reservations about joining? And uh, if so, how are those reservations alleviated now that you've joined and transitioned? I joined early in 2019 and then I uh, joined another group and another group and like I feel like if uh, every single group will make a difference in this the area that uh, they are acting in bringing the the values uh, i um, wish the international <laughs> group will will uh, be more involved in, in the helping other international people um explaining uh, the roles in the united states and how this uh, uh, can be um let's say um achieved and uh, I wish um, everyone can find support because um, I found myself. Glad you were able to find that support you needed and thank you so much for sharing. Congratulations Cornelia. Uh, we look forward to watching your continued career success. Well done. Thank you.